Eviction can happen to anyone. Last September, the Waters found themselves homeless following an eviction, forcing Irene, a longtime employee of the state of California, and her husband Keith, an electrician, to make the difficult decision to live apart from their children over a 10-month period. 2019 was a hard year for us. At times, Keith didn't even have steady work available, which meant he didn't always have full paychecks, and my situation was very similar. From January to April of last year, I had to reduce my hours at work because of illness with both me and the children. We fell behind on rent in May. As a result, we were evicted in June and were homeless by September. Back in 2015, Keith met Dave Thompson, an inspector for the cities of Santa Clara and San Jose, who was teaching electrical wiring fundamentals through ALCF's Jobs Ministry. First met Keith when I was um, making an electrical inspection, and I put him to the side and let him know that we had a program. If he was interested, that he could uh, join the class. Through that program, Keith received valuable training that prepared him to become an electrician. Last year, he let me know that he was homeless. Him and his wife, I believe his kids were staying with his mother-in-law. So just him and his wife living in a car. And uh, let Sister Cheryl know about it in Abundant Life. I received a telephone call from um, Brother David, and he had shared with me what was going on in their life and if there was anything that uh, Abundant Life could do. In October 2019, Cheryl helped us sign up for the Streets to Home program, but we had difficulty finding a place that would accept us due to our bad credit and eviction. A legal eviction comes with a court record, which can prevent families from relocating to decent housing. Once you're evicted, especially in the Bay Area, landlords will not work with you. When we didn't have the money to rent motel rooms, we had to sleep in our car, which eventually caused a health condition that hospitalized me in February. Once the pandemic hit, the restrooms and essential locations like libraries, gyms, malls, and restaurants shut down, and there were no places to charge our cell phones or use a restroom. Lack of access to toilets and a shower was absolutely horrifying. Homelessness had a negative impact on many aspects of their lives. Our marriage suffered, the children became depressed and their grades dropped significantly. In order for Kaiser to release Irene from the hospital, she needed a physical place to stay. This enabled the Waters to qualify for the motel voucher program through Life Moves. We entered their motel voucher program until July 2020, when we finally found an apartment that would rent to us. We were grateful for the motel voucher program through Life Moves that helped us reunite with our children. I will call the landlord. When I called them, I just told them, you know, we have been working with this family. We are here to support them. They were willing to work with them. Their final notice came through that they got the place. I think we all rejoiced. Miss Irene said to me was, you know, I am just amazed because I did not believe you guys would wait this long to still help us, that you will still go forward and push on our behalf for our family. We were amazed and grateful that Abundant Life was still willing to help us. They covered the cost to move us into our new apartment in July of 2020. Unfortunately, what the Waters experienced isn't an isolated incident, especially here in the Bay Area, which ranks third in the nation for homelessness. We can impact a life one life at a time. It's the opportunity for the church to look outside and do something um, to impact lives. Abundant life, can we do this again? Can we help another family move from a state of homelessness into sustainable housing? It's not just a ministry team or a ministry that's doing this, but it's the whole family. We all are participating in this and my heart is just elated with joy and love just for all the things that we can accomplish together.